Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on self snitching and the downfall of YNI Mookie and Slugger T. February 4th, 2022, news broke that Jacksonville rapper YNI Mookie was found guilty at trial for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Having yet to be sentenced, Mookie is facing up to 30 years in Florida State Prison. This comes only two weeks after fellow member YNI Slugger T was found guilty of the same charge and sentenced to seven years. With these convictions, blame can be put on only one thing, self-snitching. August 26, 2018, a music video titled Draco, Young and Ace Diss was posted to YouTube. The video showed several documented young and ruthless gang members flexing guns. Two were identified as convicted felons Tyler Jackson and Tyler Simmons, who are more commonly known as the rappers YNI Mookie and Slugger T. Both rappers can be seen holding guns which a firearm expert determined to be Glocks, and both rappers would be arrested, charged, and sentenced to over 100 days, Mookie serving his time in the county jail while Slugger T served his time in the juvenile facility. Fast forward to January of 2019, Duval County Sheriff's announced Operation Wrap Up, a social media investigation targeting gun violence in Jacksonville which led to nine felons being charged with possessing firearms. Two of those felons were Mookie and Slugger T. Jacksonville's gang unit were able to put their feet up, sit back and relax as gangs throughout the city posted videos to YouTube and Instagram holding guns, sending threats, and hinting at previous murders or shootings. Investigators were able to look into another video posted back in 2018 titled YNI Mookie Murder One. Throughout the video, several individuals can be seen flexing guns, including Mookie, who's already been convicted of possessing a different gun in a different video. So all investigators had to do was screen record it, watch it in slow motion, and a firearms expert who previously worked for the ATF identified the AK-47 styled weapon as a Zastava PAP M89MP M92 chambered in 556. While they had Mookie charged with a gun in a new video, the state would file charges against Slugger for the Draco music video again, this time charging him with possession of a firearm by a juvenile found to have committed a felony act as he was accused of promoting or furthering the interests of his gang in the music video. Slugger would later plead guilty and be placed on community control, Florida's strictest form of probation. Meanwhile, Mookie was out on bond for the AK in his Murder One video, but soon he'd find himself back in jail. On April 9, 2020, a traffic stop was conducted on a vehicle for speeding after leaving the residence of Slugger T. The driver, Anthony Hoskins, was advised the reason for the stop and was unable to provide a vehicle registration or insurance. He denied having anything illegal in the vehicle and denied a search of the vehicle. The officer went back to his patrol car to check if any of the men had warrants while Mookie went live on Instagram. Man, these crackers stay fucking with me, man. Mookie, bro, they seen yeah. you, bro. They seen you, bro. They, they peep you, bro. Come on, now why they fucking with that? They seen you. But look, I'm glad you got him, but you got your license. It was me, it was over with. It was over man, with. these crackers stay fucking with me, man. Hey, Miss Courtney, this is Anthony Hoskins. Don't put no bad energy. Hey, um, me. I think the police want to talk to you. You want to know that my, my insurance threw you all? No, 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 bro. Get, get, get out of there. Get out of there. This nigga right. He gone. He gone. Get out of there. No, bro. Hold on. You watching. You watching. You watching. You watching. The live was being observed by a police sergeant conducting social media surveillance. While on live, occupants inside of the vehicle could be heard saying they needed to get rid of a stick, which is known to be slang for a rifle. A canine unit was called to the scene and the canine alerted to the vehicle, resulting in probable cause for a search. Once again, self-snitching. All four men were removed and officers found a 9mm Ruger and 40 caliber FNX-40 which was reported stolen out of Palm Beach. All four men were transported downtown for interviews where investigators arrested two of them after determining who the guns belonged to. Both men being arrested were also documented YNI gang members. While interviewing the driver Anthony Hoskins, he admitted he didn't know the speed limit in the area. 
When asked about the guns, he originally stated he doesn't own any and didn't know anything about guns being recovered from his vehicle. Later in the interview, he changed that statement. Anthony would tell investigators Mookie was seated in the back passenger seat and placed a black firearm on Keyshawn Dilla's lap who sat in the front passenger seat. Keyshawn then took the gun and placed it on Anthony's lap as Mookie told the driver he needed to take the gun charge for him. Anthony told investigators he put the black gun back on Keyshawn's lap who put it inside of the glove box along with a silver gun. Anthony provided investigators with a DNA swab before investigators interviewed the fourth passenger in the vehicle, Anthony's brother Davion. Davion admitted to investigators Mookie passed off a black firearm wrapped in a white bandana. Interviewing Keyshawn, he denied any knowledge of firearms in the vehicle and Mookie requested a lawyer. Because of statements made by the two Hoskins brothers, Keyshawn and Mookie were placed under arrest. While Anthony and Davion were being interviewed, they signed written consent to a search of their cell phones. Looking through pictures and videos on Anthony's phone, multiple videos of y and Slugger T were found brandishing an AR rifle without a stock. In one he's seen inside of Anthony's vehicle, and another he's standing outside with a rifle. Anthony stated the videos were taken on March 30th in Slugger's yard at his home address. He thought the rifle was a pellet gun and belonged to Slugger's mom. In Davion's phone, a video was found of Slugger holding the same rifle in a bedroom. Davion also thought the gun was fake and said the video was recorded at Slugger's house. A firearms expert with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's reviewed the evidence against Slugger frame by frame. He determined the rifle was a Smith & Wesson AI-15 chambered in 22 li He noted the distinct slotted magazine of the 22 caliber model that allows a clear view of the brass ammunition. November 30th, 2021, Slugger was found guilty at trial of being a felon in possession of a firearm and sentenced to seven years. Now all the prison experts around social media were commenting he'd be out early with parole, not even realizing there's no parole in the state of Florida. Slugger was given 647 days credit for the time he served in jail, so he'll have to serve over five years in prison three of which are mandatory, followed by three years of probation when he's released. Mookie was just found guilty for possessing the AK-style gun in his Murder 1 video and is still facing a separate gun charge after being pulled over and snitched on. Now what's crazy about the driver who told it all, Anthony Hoskins, he goes by the name Ruthless Amp and still portrays to be a killer in the streets while being featured in a football video dissing the opposite team. So come to find out Ruthless Amp was a wide receiver through the week and gang banging on weekends as he claimed to be Mob Pyru but throws up the East 9 tray and put Zo Pound in an insta pick which isn't even around anymore since Zoe's went ZMF but the point is it doesn't seem like he knows what the fuck he is as in one pick he's burning a dead kid's hoodie with the caption reading two times but on Mookie's live, you can hear him in the background sounding like a sales representative. Yeah. Hey, Miss Courtney, it's Anthony Hoskins. Don't put no bad energy Hey, Hey, um, I think the police want to talk to you. You want to know that my, my insurance threw you all. At one point, he even pulled up in Julio Fulio's hood and took a video crossing names out on the park sign. Having no felonies, all the guns he's flexing are most likely legally owned by him. And while he's free acting like a killer flexing legal weapons, it's crazy to think his cooperation adds time to Slugger and Mookie's sentence, who were actually living that life and flexing illegal guns. While they suffer the consequences of really living that life, he's free to play pretend and snitch his way out. But the blame can't solely be placed on him, as Slugger and Mookie would have never been arrested had they kept the guns off camera. Mookie is facing up to 30 years in prison on one case and still has another gun case pending. Now self snitching is an epidemic and there's one thing that's crazy about self snitching is you won't be titled a snitch for doing it. It's the only snitching you can do that people aren't going to say you're a snitch because you told on yourself. So instead they'll just say you're a jackass, you know what I mean? It's the same thing with people that get out of prison and fucking take pictures with guns, videos with guns. It's people that never learned. You never learned that you don't need to impress other people, but everybody wants this gangster killer image, right? And that's people's fucking downfall. I mean, 
These kids were getting booked with guns, convicted with guns, weren't getting convicted hot enough, and then did the same exact fucking thing that they were convicted for. So they're getting hit with multiple music videos because they just keep doing the same thing until they came across Ruthless Amp, who was ready to tell it all. And I mean, this kid is on social media. Every single picture has a caption about killing somebody. But hearing his voice when they were getting, you know, talking to the police, well, I gotta call my insurance and make sure everything's good. Hearing that side of him, I know all that other shit's just play play because he really brought out that, hi, I'd like to sell you some insurance, that type of voice. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy because the ones that are faking it get to stay free. The ones that are really doing it go to fucking prison. It's a lose-lose situation because who wants to be free and known as a rat and who wants to be real in prison? You know what I'm saying? What is the reward of that? Yeah, I'm a real one, but I'm locked up. I'm not even free. And even though Slugger's only got to do five years, that's major. That is a major fucking effect on his career. And it's going to be the same thing with Mookie. Time like that can ruin somebody's career, especially since they weren't that well established to begin with. It's not like they're Bobby Schmurter. They got the number one fucking hit. They go to prison. He comes out. He still got money, even though he isn't as big as he was when he went in. But they weren't on that level. So it's not going to be the same. But hey, it's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time.